Yo, what's going on, guys? Volibear is in a crazy good spot right now. He's currently a top 5 top laner because Riot gave him huge movement speed buffs on his Q is the main thing. He has a lower cooldown on his E, and he has a much, much, much lower cooldown on his R. So he's in a pretty good spot at the moment. You can either play him as tank with Grasp and go for Unending Despair first item rush. Unending Despair is insanely good on him for whatever reason. Or... You can play him AP Shredder. For AP Shredder, which is what we're doing for more carry potential, we're going to push for a Nash into a Rift Maker for true damage and self-heal into a uh, Hole Breaker for on-hit damage. We're going to go ahead and start with E. E's insanely good. It's a damage against enemies, a slow against them, and a big shield for ourselves. So if you use it effectively, it does so much, it's hard for them to trade against. Kind of like an Urgot Dash level 1 since Urgot Dash is a shield damage and CC. So if he steps up, we'll blast him. Most people kind of realize that, and they try to take it slow with Volibear level 1. We're going to just kind of get the wave push and get level 2 and mash him down. You typically get your Q level 2 just because you can stun them inside your E so they can't get away from it. So there we stun her inside. We'll trade this out as long as we can since we have level 2 advantage. Even if we miss some CS, that's fine. We're still getting a lot of XP and she's missing XP because she's far away. She's level 2 now though. I have nothing to really hit. Might be able to get her with an E here. Uh... She's going to try to soul pull me. I can feel it. Oh, she got it too. Under the turret. That's unlucky. Her tentacles are super long right now. She's also a, an ultra high tier character. You just got to train your mind to dodge them a bit. You really don't want to get soul pulled underneath turret though. It's really bad. We don't have our passive built up. We'll go. So I don't necessarily want to fight her here. Instead, I would rather build it up on minions if possible. So you see we're at three, four, every stack's attack speed, and then at fifth stack it's AoE chain. So we just took off her her uh, bone plating. We're going to run her down, get her inside, hit her with a W. She did end up flashing our E damage, so she dodged the slow and the damage. She's trying to heal. If that hits me, it heals her. I'm going to try to keep my five stacks up, give her some space to breathe so she'll step up, hopefully. I'm also getting Presence of Mind mana healing, even from my lightning hitting her. I don't think they're going to fight me here. I'm pretty strong. Uter's wasting a lot of time. He's kind of waiting for Lowry to set it up. But uh, I kind of know what's going on here. He... I'll go ahead and just flash that. I want to save my health. He burned his ghost. I don't feel too bad about flashing here. I can actually go ahead and stay. I can still solo hurt even without my flash. You can also go for ghost on volley. Ghost is probably uh, overall more consistent, but against cage champs like York, Jarvan, you're going to want flash for the most part. We're going to stun her here when we're at full stacks. I'd like to take off her bone plating first, just like that. So we can shred her down. She's going to want that cannon. We get her with the stun inside of that. And she got turbo kited out. Beautiful. Your W is a true auto reset. And your Q is a true auto reset. So you can auto W Q. Or auto W auto Q. Get off some smooth combos. But for the most part, you just want to make sure you Q towards them. And Riders are about to stun them. Drop E. So while they're stunning, the E will hit them. You're stunning them so that E can land, essentially. And then you can auto W reset or just straight W into auto. All right, first item back since we are playing AP Shredder is going to be a recurve boat. Boots will TP on back by Control Ward. Your worst matchup on Volibear is ranged top laners. Twist of Fate tops a huge issue right now for him, and so is Vayne. Singed can also be challenging just because he doesn't interact with you and it's hard to auto him. So Singed, Vayne, and TF, watch out for those. We'll go ahead and get her with the QE auto W. We didn't actually land the uh, E. I need to lay that slightly sooner. She also has boots, so she was kind of able to get out of it. He doesn't, she doesn't have flash, so it is gankable for sure. I'll just play this really slow. All right, she's dead if Belveth comes here. I'm going to Q. I completely missed my Q and my E. That's a yikes. I still have my R to gap close. Auto to W. Belveth just needs to keep autoing. Nice. Okay, we can push this. Belveth can go get the uh, grubs or whatever. She shouldn't waste time on tentacles. Tentacles are pretty pointless. Leave you like five gold. We needed to put our E slightly over her retreat route, but still touching her to where if she stands still as it hits, then run up and stun her. <laughs> it's just bad placement on our part. 
I'll rotate over if somebody comes, but if not, I already have turret pressure. They're not likely to go to grubs while I'm smashing in their turret. I have my five stack passive on. We're going to get her inside, give her the W. We're delaying our E slightly too late. It's super frustrating. Auto W auto. I can R on her head here. Drop the E, give it the W. Got her with the Q. It's missing all of our E's. It's brutal. Since we had her passive already stacked, it's letting us push her off a bit. She can't step up. She's going to get shredded like you saw. So she misses probably three or four waves of minions. And I get some plates. Got two plates so far. I can stop her from coming back, especially if Belveth runs out to help. I'll try not to make it too obvious. Oof. Drop the E. She's in trouble. I'm going to just keep kiting it out. Oh, this is a guy here. I need my E. We can win this. We can win this. Oh. Auto Q auto. That's unfortunate, but all in all, pretty good. Besides Belveth giving a small shutdown. They're losing a ridiculous amount of golden XP, and I got three plates off that. So all in all, worth. Alawi's still level 5. I'm level 8. She's level 5, 7 minutes 40 in as a top laner. They pretty much always hit level 6 around 5.30 to 6.30 minute mark, depending on how far ahead they are or aren't. I'll go ahead and pick up more of a Nash and head back to lane. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, she didn't rage quit. I, Because <laughs> that, that's actually pretty common if you keep killing someone in between their turret. When you see a situation like this, she really needs her jungler to come up and help. Since I'm already ahead and I'm pushing her off, she can't run past me. She's not a mobile champion. And she already can't fight me if I have my passive full stacked at 5. We'll go ahead and max our Q second. The moon speed is pretty freaking good. It's doubled against champions. So. You also got buff. Used all my abilities there. I didn't want to miss a minion. Wait for R. It's a big jump. Gives us health. Does damage to them. Slows them and disables turrets if you're close enough to it. We get R straight on her head. Ideally after she misses a soul pull. That's a huge part for damage output. In fact, she's supposed to max that first. She knows what she's doing. We'll put that behind her. We finally landed one. Good grief. <laughs> finally. Uter took dragon, so we know we're clear to take this. Belveth could invade her top side or just gank this guy. I have my R to disable turrets. It is only two seconds now. They slightly lowered the turret disabling part, but they put it on such a lower cooldown, you get to use it more frequently, which is pretty good. Her bone plating is already off. She's dead here. We'll go ahead and R, jump on her head. Turrets, oof. Ah, we gotta leave. They got dicey. She landed soul pull on me. Is healing way too much. That sucks. That healing's kind of crazy. She also has plated, so she wasn't really dying. I got her with the slow. She's not gonna have any damage. I feel like I can stay in solo alive since she doesn't have R. Belveth can back. It's whatever. I don't remember if alive flash. Did alive flash? I don't know. She probably didn't. I ended up missing my E. I'm putting it in a weird spot. I just need to put it on top of her and stun her in it. Because if you're throwing out E, they just straight up miss. Yeah, she's starting to back up now. She remembers what happened last time she was being a... She wants, she's going to want this cannon, though. I'll step up for it. We stun her inside. Oof, not quiet. She misses the soul pull. Uter's definitely on his way. I'll go ahead and dump this. She wants to back. Might as well dump. No reason not to dump here. She wants to reset. I can TP back myself. Those grubs are up. We should definitely play for that. Oh, it's Callista mid. I didn't even realize. <clears throat> Such a weak pick. We're about to be up. Five plates total. Plus bonus first turret gold. Whew, look at that shred. All comes from his attack speed on passive. We're at... Uh, 45% extra attack speed. My R is about to be up. My R should be a lower cooldown than allow us. 
Cool. Belveth has the big ass thing. Oh, Lowry's here. She's dead. Stoner, I don't have my E. Got it out in front. She seemed to speed up there. I have R. I can disable the turret. W auto. We run away. Shouldn't have gone inside there. Ooh, oh wait. The mites tanked for her. Dodge that to the side. It's like the Indiana boulder scene. Don't try to outrun it for the most part. Just try to sidestep it. They're easy to sidestep, but they're kind of hard to outrun now with how long they are. Got full Nash for your boots on AP Shredder Volley Bear. It's typically Ionians because they're incredibly cost effective. And AP Volley is a bit of a uh, ability spammer as well with this W self heal if you've hit the same target with your W. So if you already hit a target with your W, if you do it within 8 seconds, it then does more damage and heals you. But it has to be... I was pretty sure it was just champions and monsters. It's just saying a marked target. Okay, so you can even do it even against minions. Wow. It's just 50% as effective. It's In general, though, you only really W champions or monsters. Because monsters because you're trying to farm. Or champions because obviously you're fighting a champion. Typically against minions, you don't want, you don't want to waste the mana. Because you're... Wave clear with just your passive autos alone, plus E is really, really good. I can't even get over there. Belveth's in a solo fight. I can't reach at all. I have nothing. Yeah, it's just... I, wait, I don't even need ganks, is the thing. I'm wildly far ahead. My R is up, though. We could dive her. <clears throat> it's about to be up in 20. We can stop her from getting back to turret. Their mid laner's mid. Their Jinx is spawning in just now. So she might actually come over here. We got to block him from coming back though. We stun her inside. My R is about to be up. We don't even need it. Whew, look at that shred. We got him. We got him. We got him. We walk him down. I'll wait till my jungler's closer. To draw aggro. Stun him inside. I don't even need to R, bro. It's crazy. There's no reason to draw aggro. If you can just walk them down, wait till your backup's there. Don't go in by yourself. We just walk them down. We'll be patient. Keep our passive up against turret. Getting autos out. If someone steps up. There's two bot, one mid. They have no one to stop us here. If Lyra comes, she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Oh, my jungler isn't following me. Nah, that sucks. Jungler didn't follow at all. Well, it is what it is. That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. We go ahead and go for haunting, guys. Shut down to a lie. That's wild. It's actually going to make the game really, really hard. You just got 750 gold for no reason. I think she... I don't remember if she did flash or not, but she definitely dragged out that fight for a while. We have the grubs. I'll just show up to drag fights. There's no reason for me to uh, keep split pushing. It's so deep on the map compared to the other turrets that the enemies can hyper collapse on me and I have no vision of it actually happening. Wait, is anyone else able to get here? Uh, I guess I'll get on Leona. I gotta get the Jinx actually. Stepped on a silly jinx trap. All right, we'll take it. We'll just split push away from where Lau is at. Now that she got that shutdown, the matchup's gonna get much more challenging. We don't necessarily want to take her CS. We'll just get it low for her. My R is gonna be up. We can dive. Yeah, she's dead. What's she doing? Drop the E on her head, disable the turret, get her with a stun. You are not safe under turrets against this character. Volley Bear R is on such a low cooldown these days. Yeah, where are you going to go to, my man? Oh, I was going to flash W her. It didn't quite pan out. A bit off more than I could chew. Uder did a lot of damage. She did 1100. Jinx only did 487. Wow. Been doing nothing to Leona. <laughs> Even with the ignite, they could barely get her below half health. It's time for Rift Maker. It makes you really, really tanky. It also gives you a lot of on hit. Every fifth auto. It's an amazing item for Vooly Bear.
Lowie is one full item. She could probably solo Belveth here if she lands Soul Pull. Because she does have Plated Steel Caps, which is like insanely good versus Belveth. If she lands the Soul Pull, <clears throat> Belveth has to dodge the Tentacle knockups or the Tentacle cues on herself. Yep. It's exactly what I predicted, and it's exactly what happened, because I can see the future. If they're both one full item, no one really beats a Lowie if she lands Soul Pull. It's just not how that works. You have to be a ranged character that can dodge some of her hits, basically, like a vein. Get on with the E stun. Oh, jeez, she won't die. See, yeah, Lowie's getting really, really fed. She's gotten two shutdowns now. It's actually a really close game because we've all thrown shutdowns. MF still has one shutdown on her. Until Lowie's two items, as long as I have a gold lead, I can continue to split versus her. It's a little scary though because of uh, just not having much other map pressure. Udyr's going 80. Udyr with Collector Hellblades. Is there anything for me to farm? What the heck? We either need to go top or mid to catch out whoever shows up. I don't want to grab that red. It's too far away. If Lowry shows top, we'll kill her. If someone shows mid, we'll kill them. There's nothing here, though, so Udyr must have been here recently. Oh, there's a Lowry. Stunner inside of the E. She missed Soul Pull. She's screwed. The second she misses Soul Pull, there goes half her damage output, seriously. Not only half her damage output, but probably half of her self-healing as well she heals off your your soul she tries to hit you and your soul at the same time but she generally uh angles it more towards i guess she can easily do it on both if she does it properly i need to get out of this turret that was weird i kind of thought some of those people were my teammates there but they were all on the enemy team wow oh, bella's really fast with ghost we ended up getting a kill, but we die. Not really worth. Playing a little too aggro. Oh, we don't even have a dragon. That kind of sucks. As long as they don't get sold, doesn't matter too much, though. Drags before soul don't do a whole lot. You can't even tell you have one. Actually, I'm going to go kill Lowy. She's still not two full items. I have true damage off my Rift Maker. From Void Corruption. Deal 2% bonus damage. I guess it's not technically true damage, or it doesn't specifically say. I know this item's had true damage in the past, though. So it's specifically just extra damage and self-healing, basically. I don't have passive built up, so I guess I might have to go in raw against her. I would prefer to have it up. Eh, whatever. We could just do it. Especially if I dodge soul pull. Dodged it. I knew she was going to throw it just in case I ran straight at her. Yeah, she's so screwed. Not even close. Even if she landed, I still might have won that. Nice. We got Harold. Dragon is still up, so if they can continue that push, my teammates can just back off and get drag. Why I hit the split. Might actually be able to solo Baron if I had one more item. Some kind of heal, heal item, like a Bork, maybe. So we have loads of self-healing off W, shielding on E. The only What makes it hard is you do half damage against Baron if you're the primary person tanking it. That's why soloing gets kind of tough. So Callista's pushing up over here. She wants my wave. She is one full item with Bort. She's probably worth this bush, right? Got her to stun. Step back in for the shield. I'm going to R away. I don't feel like dying here. She was, she was trading off well there since she had exhaust. If she didn't have exhaust, I think that would have gone completely differently. Kind of need to get my hold breaker. Wow, I can't stop them. No, no shot. 
Oh, she's tanking it. She's got red buff burn on me. That's why the turret was hitting her. And then my passive scraping the wave. The lightning chain does 151 AOE damage right now. It scales off our magic off of our AP. Uh it's just our passive E and R that have AP scaling. W and Q don't. Still can't afford my hole breaker. Might have to wait a little bit. This is a bad spot. We, there's no reason for us to fight right now on inhib. We can force them. Like it's not, that's not a neutral location. They have base speed up. We might as well start Baron Force them to come out and kill them out in the open. Base speed up makes it harder to uh, have a successful team fight. Or we could bait Baron, just clear all the vision, force him to step up, and we wipe them. They don't even have a blue ward to get vision on it right now. Should never really take your junglers' camps, especially if they're before level six. It's kind of bad. Though that's not over here, and we're. We need to push the map. She doesn't have time to farm. Hey, they're stepping up for Baron right now. They need to. They don't have blue ward, so they don't have vision on it. Drop E. Get her inside of it. We need to get to Jinx. Jinx is a big issue there. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, that's a Baron. We can't end off that. We don't have the minions close enough, so that's just a Baron. 300 gold apiece. Bonus stats. Not bad. So essentially, like, killing the whole enemy team in terms of gold. About 1,500. Should, I should tank. Or should Belveth? I can't tell. Maybe she should tank. Not sure. Like, I know I could crush Belveth in a one-on-one -on -one right now, but I am three full items. Uh, I was thinking about flashing for it. It just didn't feel right. Nice. We get him with stun into the E. Ooh, he is squishy. He's going for an 80 one-shot build. It's not as viable as it used to be in the past. It's been nerfed so much. So you don't see it very often. You almost always see Uder kind of AP tank, AP bruiser. Lowry's only one full item still. She's so freaking far behind, even with the two shutdowns she got. We have to kill Jinx first, I think. But our team isn't here. Let's go for Callista. Callista's out in the open. Dropping E down over here. <laughs> she goes right into it. She had nowhere to retreat to. I can disable both turrets for a decent amount of time. Got Jinx with my stun. Flash for it. Go for Leona. Nice. She got Soul Pull straight in the fountain. That stinks. She must not be maxing Soul Pull there, or it was bugs. I didn't took barely any damage. Wow, should always max Soul Pull these days. Woo! Look at that! Down she goes. Fountain healing is trash. Let's look at damage dealt damage taken on runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game by a decent amount. No one else, even with times two, would have done more than us, so not bad. Uh, Calista did quite a bit. I'm surprised she did as much as she did. For damage taken, we also took the most on our team, not the most in the game. That goes to Lowry. She was dying a lot. And for self-mitigated, we took the most on our team. Once again, not the most in the game, mainly because Lowry was soaking so much, dying a lot. Varun's high value. Volibear feels awesome. I think the best way to play him is AP Shred if you know how to move in between auto attacks. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, just play him with Unending Despair and Winter's Approach. It's totally fine. Extremely consistent. If you are going to play him tank though, go for Grasp. If you guys enjoyed this Volibear top lane video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.